The big question that we are asking right at the top of India at 9. When will we learn to respect our sporting icons? That's the question that we want to pull. Joining us now, Michael Ferreira, former billiards champion. He joins us from Mumbai. Kirti Azad, MP of the BJP, also a former cricketer. And Rajat Tandon, head of the Department of Mathematics at the Central University of Hyderabad, which was to give this special uh, uh, benefit to doctorate to Vishwanathan Anand. Michael Ferreira, you just heard Vishwanathan Anand there say, look, he's put this incident behind him. But do you think it rankles sometimes with sportsmen? It, when the system doesn't treat them in the way they deserve. He has a world champion after all. Um, I don't really think this is a question of sportsmen being um, insulted. I think it's the question of an, of an icon, whether it's in, in sport or any, any, any other uh, field of endeavor. I mean, for some idiot, if I may say so, in the HRD to question his citizenship, in the first place, is it relevant? If Tony Blair, for instance, was awarded a, a doctorate by the uh, University of Hyderabad, would any uh, question be raised about whether he was, uh, what citizenship he had? Uh, if Vishwanath Anand, assume, assuming without admitting that, let us say, he had taken Spanish uh, citizenship, does it really matter? How is it relevant right. whether he is an Indian citizen or not? You're conferring a doctorate, which is a, a mark of honor, for someone who has done something fantastic. Where the matter rests, why this bureaucratic idiotic bungle? Why this bureaucratic idiotic bungle, Mr. Rajat Tandon? Uh, uh, the minister, when I spoke to him a short while ago, saying uh, part of the fault was with the university, which didn't give, him, give his ministry the information in advance. It was your university which was conferring this doctorate. When were you told about this entire problem over Anand's citizenship? Uh, we were told sometime in the middle of July. Right. And it was very embarrassing for us. We, we had to get the information from uh, Mr. Anand and we passed on the information to the ministry. Yeah. And then what was their reaction? We never suspect. Uh, did the ministry ever give you the what? sense that they were going to take, uh, you know, till the last moment to try and get this cleared? No, I mean, we kept on following up uh, with, with the, you know, I, I, you use the word ministry, but you know, I'm pretty sure that uh, the minister didn't know about it. It's just some faceless bureaucrats. And uh, I, I do not believe that, you know, there was ever any intention of not saying no to this. Right. But, you know, that's how the bureaucracy works. Uh, right. Uh, that, you know, it, the, you know it, 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 just, is, it doesn't move. It doesn't move. It's red tape. It's Kirti Azad. Let me put a, a, a scenario to you. What if Sachin Tendulkar was to be conferred a doctorate and there was some bureaucratic hassle? We've seen it in the past when a Ferrari, when he was to bring in a Ferrari, the entire system worked over time to ensure that Sachin got his Ferrari in. Is there a difference between a Sachin Tendulkar and a Vishwanathan Anand when it comes to how fast the system moves? The system will move much faster for a cricketer than it would move for a chess wizard. Unfortunately, cricket is a very popular game. Uh, being a cricketer, I have to say that. But the basic point is that we don't have a, a sportsman spirit in our country. We don't follow the games, we don't know about anybody. And they turn around and say, sorry, you can't get a dead man alive by saying sorry. I very much agree to what Michael sir said just now. He said that if, uh, if a Tony Blair is given um, a deal letter or whatever, nobody's going to ask his nationality and they're going to just simply ask him to come do that. But I must tell you that this government is really actually, if you look at it, it it's doesn't have anything to do with sports or the youth in the country. Look at the Congress Wealth Games, I beg your pardon, Commonwealth Games. Look at that, how they've been um, um, uh, taken into account. They're having secretaries, the committee of secretaries already fit in 2005. So basically sports in our country is seen as the least priority and that's the worst part. Cricket, legacy of the British, right. fair enough, beat the British in the game, but you know, the people People like Vishwanathan Anand, I think he is the only sports person of our country who has won the world title more than four times. Well, I well, think Michael, Michael sir might have won no, it no, about three. Ma, 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 Michael has won it half a dozen times. Geet Sethi has won it eight times. Half a dozen times. You know, these are all remarkable sportsmen. Michael, uh, exactly. Is, you know, is, 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 is it again? I'm is, sorry is, about that. No, Michael, is it bureaucracy or is it just the fact, as Kirti Azad suggests, that beyond the point, a bureaucrat doesn't really concern himself about sport. Sport is not a top priority. So, if a file about Vishwanathan Anand's citizenship was on someone's table, you will not process it with the same urgency as you might some other file. Yes, I, w I would tend to agree with that, but I still haven't got an answer to the basic question, how is, how is Vish uh, Anand's citizenship relevant? Right. No one seems to have answered True. that. Right.
Very true. Uh, Mr. Tandon, you want to, uh, 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 Professor Tandon, you want to respond? Why was Anand's citizenship no, no, relevant see, to his getting this deal? It. No, you see, it's simple bureaucracy. The procedure for an Indian and the procedure for a foreigner is slightly different. I mean, that, that's all. Uh, I don't think we should read too many meanings <laughs> into this. It's just that the, the procedure... Nobody said he was a foreigner. <laughs>